Please do sit down. As the Vice Chancellor of the University, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the ceremony for the Department of Biological and Environmental Sciences. May I introduce the platform party and welcome on my immediate left, Professor John Pickett, CBE, who will be receiving an honorary degree of Doctor of Science. On my right is Dr. Richard Southern, Dean of the School of Life and Medical Sciences. And at the table to my extreme right is Mrs. Helen Davidson, the Deputy Secretary and Registrar, who carries the University Mace. Next to her, is Mr. Alistair Moffat, the Group Finance Director, who, in a change to the published programme, will be reading a citation for the conferment of an honorary degree on Professor John Pickett. I should say at this point that the mace, which you can see sitting in front of me, historically was used to protect the Vice Chancellor. Uh, uh, and Mrs. Davidson is prepared to use it if required. Uh, may I, though, at this point also uh, extend a very warm welcome to our graduates, their relatives and friends to this morning's ceremony. We will now proceed with the presentation of awards, and I have pleasure in calling upon Mr. Moffat uh, to make the uh, 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 presentation for um, the honorary degree. Vice Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to read a citation for the conformance of an honorary award of Doctor in Science on Professor John Pickett. Professor of Biological Chemistry, John Pickett is known for his pioneering work in the area of insect pheromones. His work in this field has made an important contribution to chemical ecology and has led to significantly improved pest management and agricultural sustainability. Until 2017, he was based at Rothamsted Research in Harpenden, who partnered in 2015 with the University of Hertfordshire, the Royal Veterinary College and Oaklands College to create the Centre for Agriculture, Food and Environmental Management. During the course of his research, Professor Pickett has made a number of remarkable discoveries relating to semiochemicals, which are the chemical signals that govern communication between insects and the interaction between insects and plants. He was the first to identify sex-related pheromones in mosquitoes, sandfly and aphids, and the first to report synergy between pheromones and plant-derived semiochemicals. Professor Pickett's current work focuses on the chemical ecology of the interactions between insects and their hosts, be they plant or animal, and the chemical characterization of molecular structures for semiochemicals that influence behavior and development of insects. Breakthroughs in this research have led to a successful program for the control of stem borer pests and stiger weeds in East Africa, which has resulted in a sustainable increase in food production. Professor Pickett's career began following his BSc degree in chemistry and his PhD in organic chemistry at the University of Surrey and his DSc in chemical ecology at the University of Nottingham. Following some time with the Brewing Research Foundation, he joined Rothamsted Experimental Station, as it was then known, in 1976 to study ways to control insects by modifying their behavior. He's held a number of positions at Rothamsted, most recently and most significantly as the Michael Elliott Distinguished Research Fellow. He was the first to be appointed to this position, which he held from 2010 to 2017. In 2017, after more than 41 years at Rothamsted, Professor Pickett left to take up the position of Professor of Biological Chemistry at Cardiff University. Professor Pickett has been widely published with more than 550 publications and patents and has been widely acknowledged for his contribution to chemical ecology, including a number of honorary awards from some of the country's most prestigious institutions. In 1996, he was made a Fellow of the Royal Society in 2004, he was awarded a CBE for his services to biological chemistry. 
and in 2008, he received the esteemed Wolf Foundation Prize in Agriculture. Outside the field of chemical or biology, Professor Pickett has been a keen potholer and rock climber. One of his proudest achievements was to climb Romsdal's Horn in Norway, but not as you might expect, he climbed it in the night. In more recent years, he has been enjoying playing jazz on his trumpet and performs regularly with Christine and the Stackyard Stompers at jazz festivals, clubs, and the anniversary day of the Royal Society. Vice-Chancellor, in recognition of his outstanding contribution to biological chemistry, I ask that you confer an honorary award of Doctor of Science upon Dr. John Pickett. I now call upon Dr. Pickett to address the assembly. Vice Chancellor, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, very great privilege to stand here. A wonderful honor, and I'd certainly like to say a few words. I came to Hertfordshire in 1976, as you just heard, and joined the staff of what is now Rothamsted. During that time, I, I built a tremendous interest in moving my chemistry from main line organic chemistry to biological chemistry. And many of my colleagues are in fact biologists and more recently environmentalists and people who work on animal husbandry. Besides working in laboratories in the UK, I've also done a lot of work around the world, particularly in countries with developing economies, and not least in sub-Saharan Africa, where I've had the privilege of working there since the 1980s. In fact, very recently, I was uh, on a delegation from the University of Cardiff to Somaliland, and to Somalia more widely, and that will in fact take me into an area which I know is dear to the heart of your Vice-Chancellor animal husbandry, but particularly animal welfare, and looking for ways to stabilize meat production of a pastoralist nature, which is actually a very economic way of acquiring forage from such low density forage growing regions. But it's particularly a pleasure today to congratulate a wonderfully exciting body of new graduation candidates in the area of biology, biological sciences, in fact, and environmental sciences. And that department, with that name, has produced a wonderful crop of people that we really do need, because it's the crops and the animals that feed us that are needing to contribute a great deal more with the rise in the population that we expect to see over the next years. That requires new science, and dare I say it, a new business plan. And whatever the turmoils, politically, of the age have at the moment for us, our young scientists must move into business, into research, and into education to create a new cadre of people producing food by more sustainable methods. So I'd like to conclude, first of all, by thanking the University of Hertfordshire for this wonderful honor today, and congratulating the graduates in the biological and environmental sciences today. Thank you. John, thank you for those very kind and, and wise words. We, we shall now receive the graduates of the Department of Biological and Environmental Sciences, and the graduates are presented by a member of academic staff from their school or department and I first call upon Professor Bruce Pitt. Department of Biological and Environmental Sciences, Doctor of Philosophy. Chintani Shanika Karandini Dewaga has been awarded the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in recognition of a program of work entitled Understanding Oilseed Rape, Brassica napus, 
resistance against Paranopsiza brassicae for control of light leaf spot. Vice Chancellor, Dr. Chintani Janica Carandini de Wage. Doctor of Philosophy, Alexis Perikli has been awarded the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in recognition of a program of work entitled Government in the Republic of Cyprus, Responding to the Problems of Water Scarcity and Quality. Vice-Chancellor, Doctor Alexis Perikli. Master of Science degree in Environmental Management, Coedio Jean-Marie Angoa. <laughs> With distinction, Fay Brotherhood. <laughs> With distinction, Alistair Edward Phipps. Master of Science degree in Environmental Management for Agriculture, Christopher Nicholas Bogus. <laughs> Master of Science degree in Water and Environmental Management, Faye Tufnell. <laughs> Master of Science degree in Sustainable Planning, Jessica Anastasia Moore. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Applied Biomedical Science. Nicole Amy Abaque. <laughs> Coledi Alex Adiosen. Shazna Begum. <laughs> Augustina Aku Eduse. <laughs> Glenn Charles Gabriel. Riha Halai. <laughs> With first class honours and winner of a Royal Society of Biology Award, Laura Hobden. <laughs> With first class honours, Tanjima Jaman Khan. Winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Tamsin Lee Ludgate. <laughs> Winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Ajonta Mamun. <laughs> With first class honours, Hanshi Palmer. Jennifer Susan Paul. <laughs> Ms. 
with first class honours, Whitney Paolo. With first class honours, Jasper Rashid. With first class honours and winner of the Institute of Biomedical Science Award, Kira Ryan. <laughs> Nadha Hayavdin. <laughs> With first class honours, Jonathan Peter George Tuhi. Inashu Huna Kunamaran. With first class honours, Abby Michelle Leanne Walker. Rebecca May Wilderspin. Bachelor of Science degree in Biochemistry, Muhammad Ali. With first class honors, Thomas Toby Austin. Karen Lee Beard. Jakub Borosinski. <laughs> With first class honors and winner of the Biochemical Society Award, Dean James Cornish. <laughs> Ashley Foote. Zach William Greaves. <laughs> Saffron Gurung. <laughs> Lisha Prakes Chandani. <laughs> Winner of a Silver Go Hearts Award. Charlotte Rothwell Smith. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Biological Science. Dahir Abakor Ahmed. <laughs> Yasin Jessica Cabral Sasilva. <laughs> With first class honours, Shannon Cullen. <laughs> Grace Lydia Harding. Sonia Herchand. <laughs> Sita Devi Kaki. <laughs> Jocelyn Kur Kabar. <laughs> Hope Chipalara Kumpalame. Dilison Dinesh Rajamohan. <laughs> 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 
with first class honours, Laura Sapelli. Danielle May Stennett. <laughs> Sumeya Mohammed Tahlil. <laughs> Lindsay Ann Taylor. <laughs> Rosa Vojdani. Wan Kiet C. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Biological Science with a year abroad. Darren Paul Beamish. <laughs> with first class honours, Justine D. Isabel Padua. Bachelor of Science degree in Biomedical Science. With first class honours and winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Abene Kondu Adani. With first class honours, Pragya Agarwal. <laughs> Michelle Ulawatosan Ogabayande. <laughs> With first class honours and winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Jamie Ahmed. Paula Ajelu. <laughs> Michael Alisoy. <laughs> With first class honours, Ali Al Rashid. Anuba Ali Jaraja. <laughs> Nathan Kieran Brony Asare Washington. <laughs> With first class honors, Leah Marcella Bennett. With first class honors, Fahima Sultana Chowdhury. <laughs> Mohammed Amina Rahman Chowdhury. <laughs> Mohammed Mahi Chowdhury. With first class honors, Zainab Anjum Rahman Chowdhury. <laughs> Nathania Emily Collins. <laughs> Padlim Fatiha. Immaculate Tiffany Fernando. Adam Leslie Foster. Masumi Fujinobo. Neil Gathavi.
Amandeep Singh Grewal. Marion Monica Guerra Condori. Israel Ibrahim. Serena Morgan Johnson. Olivia Joanne Jones. <laughs> Ross Casey Bo Calarus. <laughs> With first class honors, Sunish Kamlesh Kumar. <laughs> Osge Karabulat. Sara Kachsari. <laughs> Zainab Khan. <laughs> Ojin Loloa Victoria Kolawole. <laughs> Winner of a Bronze Go Hearts Award, Rafia Kusa. With first class honors, Alexander Leggett. <laughs> Safria Iniat Lowndes. <laughs> Chiamaka Uguchi Manu Jabea. <laughs> Tatenda Maniepa. Michelle Sumare Muhawavi. <laughs> With first class honors, Melanie Roshinika Natha Nathandiji Fernando. <laughs> Dushyanthi Navarathatnam. Sharon Kalechi Odozi. <laughs> Vanessa Adio Legabe Omo Adioda. <laughs> Obed Oware Mensa. Jermaine Asumang Owusu. <laughs> Druvini Ben Rajesh Kumar Patel. <laughs> With first class honors, Shivani Juhu Patel. Mohamed Khalil Hirbakus. <laughs> With first class honors, Maisha Rahman. <laughs> Saman Azad Rashid. Hannah Louise Rice. <laughs> Aisha Mary Rodriguez. <laughs> Ra
Lorena Salal. Senturi Selva Chandran. <laughs> Suveta Sivanasan. <laughs> Tasnim Sober. <laughs> Rebecca Yama Laura Stevens. With first class honors, Elifikan Topsogot. <laughs> Pinky Tulsidas. <laughs> Yazan Yahid Udin. Vandana Manji Vastani. <laughs> Fevan Emmanuel Wildermariam. <laughs> Miftau Adioe Youssef. Bachelor of Science degree in Healthcare Science, Life Sciences, with first class honors, Julian Carlos Rodriguez. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Molecular Biology, with first class honors, Ben David Elliott. Kathleen Elizabeth Hill. <laughs> Kurt Lawrence James Moore. <laughs> With first class honors and winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Alina Ochlen. With first class honors, Helena Ashley Saltson. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Pharmacology, Shelley Rose Barker. <laughs> Sebastian Elliott Bolland. Ronisha Cabral. Rose Chavushi. With first class honors, Shingi Chilimbi. With first class honors, Eleni Dimitrio. With first class honors and winner of a Roche Award, Heather Gunn. With first class honors, Jonathan Philip Hare. Kiana Hassan Khani. James Ryan Hillman. <laughs> Sameha Jagirda. <laughs> Alvin Jose. <laughs> Anna.
Anna Khan. With first class honors, winner of a university prize, winner of the British Pharmacological Society Award, and winner of the Royal Society of Biology Award, Michael Thomas Lanigan. Winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Ellen Vizuet Lopez Perez. <laughs> With first class honours, Shamsa Maksud. <laughs> With first class honours, Emad Ahmed Mia. With first class honours, Thomas Charles Mosley. Shalom Ojinyeke Odozi. With first class honours, Majuri Patel. With first class honours, Tony Lauren Randall. <laughs> Abdul Rafi Safi. <laughs> With first class honours, Tamina Udin. Bachelor of Science degree in Dietetics. With first class honors, Charlotte Ann Barton. <laughs> With first class honors, Folashedi Tawakalutu Aduni Bello. <laughs> Rory Blanche. With first class honors and winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Magdalena Maria Amila Brandner. <laughs> With first class honors, Rachel Laura Charlotte Gregory. <laughs> Fania Gull. Paul David Harrison. With first class honors and winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Claire Hegarty. Lauren Rose Ann Johnston. Sophie Hen. With first class honors, Victoria Allison Mace. Ki Yu Chanal Mo. Helen Rose Mobs. With first class honors, Christina Helena Neverson. Gloria Nicobari. Holly Ann O'Sullivan. With first class honors, Hannah Lucy Potts. <laughs> Ms. 
Emma Helena Rajska. Yi Tong Seng. With first class honours and winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Marco Spara. Kara May Somariva Nagel. Emma Marsha Alice Tovey. <laughs> Jessica Bernadette Treacy. <laughs> With first class honours and winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Laura Trimarco. Bachelor of Science degree in Nutrition, Nuha Albasha. <laughs> With first class honors and winner of a Vita Biotics Limited Award, Lucy Elizabeth Barnes. <laughs> Gladys Tatende Dilhawayo. Ingrid Solene Bialu Jedmajemad Nagasa. <laughs> With first class honours and winner of a Vitabiotics Limited Award, Megan Hope Dunlop. <laughs> Ting Huan Marie Rosa Ho. Peter Humbles. <laughs> Jessica Emma Bradshaw Main. <laughs> Sama Mohammadi Amlashi. <laughs> Nakurta Ramaswamy. Charlotte Ruth Smith. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Environmental Management and Ecology, Emilia Louise Ames. <laughs> Samantha Jane Clatworthy. Ravneet Dial. <laughs> Paul Joseph Gaddis. <laughs> Sarah Ashraf Shama Al Siad Mohammed Ibrahim. <laughs> With first class honours. Natasha Eleanor Island Joyce. <laughs> With first class honors, Melissa Jane Northam. <laughs> With first class honors and winner of a university prize, Bronwyn Victoria Scholes. Miguel Sierra Sanchez. <laughs> Catherine Elizabeth Tatton. <laughs> Bachelor
Bachelor of Science degree in Environmental Management and Ecology with a year abroad, Luana Cristina Maldonado Frutuso. Bachelor of Science degree in Geography, Molly Ann Armour. <laughs> Shanice Behetsti. <laughs> Danielle Irene Brokenshaw. Harry James Robert Chalk. <laughs> Winner of a Silver Go Hearts Award, Alicia Domino. <laughs> SK Erdogan. Jessica Laura Margaret Fuller. <laughs> Timothy Craig Hartnett. <laughs> Kieran James Hay. <laughs> Amy Elizabeth Hodgkinson. Tanya Kumar Khalid. <laughs> Winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Tarina Jana Ann Lee. <laughs> Alwyn Aposa. Winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Abby Victoria Ord. <laughs> Jake Rainbow. <laughs> Gabrielle Venslauskate. Jacob Henry Badcock. <laughs> Callum Robert Moyer. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Human Geography, Emanuela Avena Yara Adorme. John Adialoa Ajaye. <laughs> Winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Louise Susan Campbell. <laughs> With first class honors, Perry James Gentry. Thomas Edward Redhead Howe. <laughs> Caris Elizabeth Ann Jones. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Human Geography with a year abroad. Winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Bahasht Kawa Al Hajedi. Adam Peter Revel. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Physical Geography. George Adams Rimmer.
Bradley Mason Beavis. With first class honors, Rachel Karen Bonus. Lily Florence Briggs. Daniel James Clark. With first class honors, Charlotte Annabelle Day. Jonathan Newitt. With first class honors, Marios Stavros Pepos. William John Filk. Alexander Shaw. Lily Jessica Varnum. <laughs> Diploma of Higher Education, Mariam Hada Ali. <laughs> the following award was achieved under the University Joint Honours Program. Bachelor of Science degree, Catherine Mary Jean Clements. The following awards were achieved having followed an approved program of study under the Credit Accumulation and Transfer Scheme. Bachelor of Science degree, Chloe Louise Bleakley. Lina Malika Ayoanu. It's now my pleasure to call upon Bronwyn Scholes to address the assembly on behalf of the graduates. Vice Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm honored to have the opportunity to speak on behalf of the graduates of the Department of Biological and Environmental Sciences and give thanks for our time at the University of Hertfordshire. These years spent at university have been a fantastic opportunity to improve our academic knowledge and skills. The staff and facilities have been excellent in supporting and encouraging learning. The willingness of staff to go above and beyond to assist students with their learning is something that I'm especially grateful for and will not forget. We leave the institution with a far greater understanding of our chosen subject and the skills to continue further learning throughout our lifetimes. Beyond the academic achievement, the university has given us the chance to meet new people and make both professional and social relationships. In our department, there's been a lot of practical lab and field work, as well as group projects, presentations and discussions. This style of learning fostered a sense of community among the department that greatly enhanced the overall experience. This is not to say that, in, that university has been an entirely blissful time. There were periods of deadlines, stress and pressure throughout the years, especially towards the end. At times, the end did not seem possible, but the hard work and perseverance put in makes sitting here today all the more rewarding. As such, I would like to congratulate all the graduates here today on the achievement of their degrees. 
A special congratulation goes to Dr. John Pickett for receiving an honorary Doctor of Science degree in recognition of his outstanding contribution to biological chemistry. My thanks also go to friends and family who have supported us graduates throughout the years. Whether it was a reassuring phone call at a stressful time or offering to proofread a dissertation, a fellow student who was on your course or across the hall, or people back home however many miles away. I'm sure I speak for everyone when I say how invaluable that support has been. Finally, I would like to thank the Vice-Chancellor for receiving the graduates of the Department of Biological and Environmental Sciences today. Thank you. Bronwyn, thank you very much for those very kind words. And can I add to Bronwyn's congratulations, my congratulations to all our graduates, and I'm sure uh, congratulations from all my colleagues on the stage here. What a fantastic achievement. Wasn't it marvelous seeing them all coming across the stage? Very, very well done. But I would like, in conclusion, to uh, extend somewhat what Bronwyn has said about the, uh, the attributes and the values which university bring beyond the curriculum. And I'd like to talk in particular about the values which we have as a university. The University of Hertfordshire um, has a set of values which it uh, uh, debated long and hard a number of years ago and we came up with an acronym, FACES. And the FACES stands for Friendly, Ambitious, Collegiate, Enterprising and Student Focused. And these are the values that we hold as an institution. And can I say, I think they're particularly important values for a community like a university. But at this time, can I suggest perhaps, given the turmoil which we have in the United Kingdom, political turmoil, uh, as well as uh, technological turmoil, can I say they are uh, values which I hope our students can take beyond the university. And if I can start with the, the value of friendship, uh, we have seen, I think, not only in Parliament, but in our, our own dinner parties, friendships being uh, eroded as a consequence of the political environment in which we live. Can I suggest to our graduates that, of course, you are going to have different views. Of course you are, and you must express those views, but express them in a reasoned way, express them in a way which allows you to maintain friendships and which doesn't damage friendships because it's hugely important and it's one of the fundamental things, I think, about our society that we, we are uh, and have friendships and I hope that you're able to take that away from the university. Now, uh, of course, I would love you to be searingly ambitious. I'd love some of you to become fabulously wealthy. And when you do, I'd love you to remember the university. <laughs> but can I say that uh, uh, when we talk about ambition, we talk about ambition for a whole range of things, ambition for your families, ambition for your communities, for your society, for the country, whatever uh, a particular ambition sparks your interest, please, please be ambitious in that way, in a way which uh, you know, is, is, is genuinely supportive to you uh, and, your, and your family. And then collegiality. Well, collegiality, I think, is deeply important. When I, what I mean by collegiality is that you're prepared to do things, perhaps in the workplace, perhaps in your community. You're prepared to do things for others which won't necessarily have a direct positive impact on yourself, and I think that is hugely important. It's, it's hugely important for the university. It's one of the things we... we pride at the University of Hertfordshire and it's, a, it's something which we have to strive for because of course within a university when everyone has their own specific disciplines it's very easy to get into a silo and not to think about the whole organization but that collegiality is important in academia can I say it's equally important in business and in, uh, in the workplace so, so please embrace collegiality. Then enterprise well the University of Hertfordshire is an enterprising university. It's a business-facing university. It's one which prides itself in its uh, relationships with business. 
But it doesn't really matter what subject you do at the University of Hertfordshire, whether it's a biological subject or whether it's a, a humanities or arts subject. We would encourage you as you leave the university to think about enterprise and entrepreneurship. It's important within business, uh, within the professions that you're enterprising, that you take your profession forward and that you advance it in whatever way possible. Of course, it's also important for the country that those of you who are able and who are entrepreneurial set up your own businesses and uh, 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 grow those to benefit the economy. And then finally, student focused. Well, of course, that particular value is one which we on the stage hope that we've been able to demonstrate to you uh, as our uh, students now graduates during your time at the University of Hertfordshire. But can I suggest now, as you leave the university and go into um, the workplace, you may get the opportunity at some point to take on graduates either in part-time work or on placements. And if you do, can I ask you to think back to your time as a student at the university and think how you might better support those students coming to you to give them an experience which will contribute to their education so that we as a university can benefit from that when they come back into our uh, uh, academic environment. So those are the values we have as a university. Please carry those values with you as you leave the university. I have two further things to say. Uh, uh, the first relates to the Go Hearts Awards, which some of you will have heard some of our students receiving. These Go Hearts Awards are for things which our students have done beyond the curriculum. So it's things like volunteering, it's things like running societies, it's things like taking part in national associations. Uh, even our common reading program contributes to the Go Hearts Awards. And I'm delighted to see uh, uh, many of our graduates there getting both gold, silver, and bronze Go Hearts Awards. Really fantastic achievement. But you will also see some of our graduates now, some of our undergraduates and some of our graduates wearing our gray hoodies, which say Go Hearts on them. And the idea behind these gray hoodies is not only to give us a sense of community within the university, but if our students, or indeed if you are walking down the street, uh, it might be in Hatfield, uh, it, it might be in uh, Nepal, it doesn't really matter, and you see someone wearing one of these gray hoodies, the idea is to walk up to them and say, Go Hearts! <laughs> now, you've got you've got to do it in a particularly inspiring way. They should respond with a similar, go hearts! Uh, 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 and the idea is that this will allow you to engage in some sort of conversation with them about your time or your relationship with the university. But I'm not yet convinced that all our graduates are uh, uh, able to do this, so I'm going to get you to do it now. We're going to practice it. Now, uh, uh, can I just say, uh, I... I have a personal view on this. Uh, it is very personal. I think it sounds better with a Scottish accent. <laughs> but I'm going to get you all to, your mums and dads as well, everyone who's here can join with me. Uh, indeed, my colleagues on the stage, I, I unfortunately, I can't face both them and you at the same time, so I'm relying on you telling me if they do it lustily, which I trust that they will. But on the count of three, I'd like you to all, and incidentally, I've done this with a number of the other graduations, and they've all done it incredibly well. So it's up to you to do it more loudly than any other group of graduates. Are you all ready for it? Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Go hearts! Fantastic, well done. And the second thing which I was going to finish with, um, uh, 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 and indeed, uh, Bronwyn, you commented on it too, but can I at this point thank all those who have supported our students now, now our graduates, our students during their time at the University of Hertfordshire. The support you have given them will have made their journey through the university so much easier. It may not have always been easy, Broman commented on that, but it, it certainly will have been supported and enhanced and enriched by the support that you've given them. And perhaps graduates, you might join with me in thanking all the supporters who've come today to help you uh, at your graduation. Thank you very, very much.
Now that concludes the formal part of the proceedings, uh, but I would like to invite you now to return to the Alban Arena where the graduates will be able to view the photographs which have been taken as they walked across the stage and of course some light refreshments will be served. And could I also now ask you if you would please stand up as the academic procession leaves the Abbey.